everybody, this is Eli, and today I actually have something different. It um, does not require any wood, but it is made out of metal, and it is a chainsaw bicycle. And this is actually friction drive. What I mean by friction drive, if you don't know, it means that the spindle coming off the motor is right on the tire, and it's just using friction to uh, make the bike move. So I have a McCulloch, McCulloch, McCull, McCulloch chainsaw. It's a 610 uh, Pro Mac. Yeah, I think so. And it is an awesome chainsaw. It's, I think, 61 cc's. 60 to 61 cc's. And then I got a Timberline um, th Triple GT Terra uh, mountain bike. And what we have here is my dad and I, we, he, he welded all this. So I'll start off by, this is how we started to make it. So first, if you can see right here, if you look at this pipe right here, this pipe, we first welded that off. It cuts right there. It's cut off right there. We welded that on. So that was welded to the frame. So that's very solid. Then you come over here. We got this nice piece of sheet metal and um, another pipe is welded on the bottom right here and those are cut right there this pipe so and then we have a bolt going through and then this thing's like a hinge so if you can see under there tripod's not working you can see how that's welded on there so then what we did was we put a piece of angle iron on that sheet metal if you can see right there right here to just give it some support and it welds onto that bolt and goes all the way up to here so you can see that it goes all the way to the end that's welded to that then what we have is um let me fix this tripod oh yeah i'm back i just had to fix my tripod all right, so I was at, um, I was just going to show you, so if you look at that metal pipe, right, let me get it focused, right there, that metal pipe, that is a three and a half inch pipe ID, it's actually a three and a half inch pipe OD, but um, it's muffler pipe, so my dad had it taken to a shop and had this part flanged out with a machine, so it's stretched out. And then the uh, clutch of the chainsaw is only about that thick, from there to there. And it um, wasn't thick enough, so we had to weld that on. And it just has eight tacks welding it on. And if you can see, I don't know if I can even get in there. If you can look, you can see that's the clutch in there. Oh, okay. and... Um, I've almost covered everything on this. It's actually not that much stuff. But I just want to show you guys one more thing. Well, maybe two more things, actually. Um, if you can see right there, right here, is I have a turnbuckle. And this goes right into the angle iron that was here. And then I drilled a hole in the frame and put a bolt through it. So the angle iron worked really good. You can see the angle iron was right down there and it just goes right into it. So that worked good. And then I just want to show you one more thing, guys. So if you can see right up there is an old BMX bike brake lever right here. And my dad and I just drill, uh, drilled a hole through this and clamped it on there. So this takes a purple line let me zoom in on it and show you so I'll keep on doing the throttle and you can look on the chainsaw hopefully that will focus but when I do the throttle you can see the uh, trigger is pulling. So that it, we managed to do that by taking an old brake cable and so we put a brake 
we drilled a hole in the handle and then just put this brake cable holder on there and the brake cable goes goes over there goes down there and it comes back up and goes right to the throttle so that's all it is so um let's get started and i'll show you how it works okay guys i'm back um i'm just gonna fire it up and show you guys Okay guys, um, I'm going to be starting it again. This is probably not going to be the best quality because it's probably going to be really shaky. 